We are right here in 2021, the 60th anniversary of John Cooper and the Mini Car Company. We're coming racing here at Indianapolis. Everybody wants to win Indianapolis. We got three cars in it. You know, it's gonna be spectacular. Sir Alec Izagona said, never in my wildest dreams, he was the original designer of the Mini, did I envision this as a race car. But it has never occurred to me that this thing would turn out to be such a fantastic relic, for instance. And um, there I'm indebted very much to my old friend, John Cooper. John Cooper comes along and adds performance and braking. John Cooper saw something special in the Mini. You get in a Mini and it brings out the adrenaline in you. It, it, it's you're dry, you know, you know, it's something about it. He had less horsepower, but where this car excelled was in the corners uh, because it was lighter weight and because of the handling. Really makes it uh, a giant killer, makes it, you know, David versus Goliath. The rough and tumble of rallying has no terrors for Isigoni's masterpiece. Wheels at the corners and the revolutionary rubber suspension give the little cars a stability and resilience which deal easily with the vagaries of French secondary roads. So we start racing back in 1961. By 1964, we're at the Monte Carlo Rally, the most prestigious road rally of its time, and we proceed to win that race three times. They were beating the, the big the big cars, you know, the, the other manufacturers that dominated racing back in the day. It's this underdog spirit that was alive and well, always at Mini. Guess what? A Mini race car is not necessarily the fastest in the straightaway, but it wins in the corners, just like, like this car. I was, I think, uh, about six years old, and uh, I remember my dad showed up one day in a classic Mini. And uh, that's kind of the first car I really remember. So it was always a Mini fan. We raced them in South America. My son drives a Mini, uh, just just turned 18, and so his first car is a Mini. Uh, we, I think we have three Minis in our driveway at home. We came together with Mini USA to, to go racing. So it's kind of surreal here that for the last seven, eight years, I get to represent the brand that I grew up with and, and been very successful at it. We race at the highest level of sports cars racing in the United States. We were racing against Audi, Porsche, BMW. My favorite thing was we flew an airplane over Porsche headquarters in Atlanta, Georgia, flying a banner that said, bring it, uh, exclamation point. Their formal response to us was, we challenge you to race us in a sanctioned race at places like Daytona, Sebring, Laguna Seca. In 2017, at the season opener at Daytona, we literally dominated the, the entire uh, four hours. And Matt and Derek won that race, beating Porsche, BMW, and Audi. And we literally were racing those three brands for the win. Winning that race was really amazing for the team and set off just a fantastic season, uh, which culminated in winning team and manufacturer's championship for many. Christian grew up in this environment. He's followed my footsteps. He's been in the paddock for years since he can remember, since he speaks. I was in Laguna Seca working on an Indy Lights team and he sent me a text while I was working, hey, you might be able to run at Sebring. And I was like, wow, this, this dream of mine might become a reality, which I, I really couldn't process. After practice, I said, okay, we're, we're gonna put you in the car. When he got in the car for the first time, getting ready to go out, I was like, look, You've done this in your dreams your entire life. Like, you, you know you can do this. You're in a real car now. Do, do what you've dreamt your entire life. And, and he did. Big move there from Pericarpi in that yellow and black mini to the left of the screen. He was looking aggressive now. And his it first down. ever race weekend debut in a full-size race car. He had two third places. In both races, he had the second fastest race lap. It was a very proud moment for me to be able to get in my family's car and do well. Do well for many also, a, a brand I love very much. It's what we do, this is our life. For him, he decided he wanted to be a race car driver and to do it in a mini with our team and be successful right away is just, it's an incredible achievement. 
The TC America, powered by Skip Barber Racing School season, roars into its final two races at the world famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway. This is now what just came by. Where it stops is where we're at. The Mini being a front wheel drive platform, wet conditions are always what we uh, pray for uh, because that gives us a, a pretty good advantage compared to our rear wheel drive competition. This car outbreaks every car in the paddock by at least 50 feet, so it's super competitive in the brake zone. Just kind of the, the fact that you'll fall back because the other cars will be on range, you can't let that startle you. First time TC America starter, Nick Barbato, gets a nice jump from home there. And Joey slots in line with three and four of rest. And Red Honda looking to the inside of the Mini of Jones. He slots up alongside and they make contact. The Mini goes around oh. and collects one of the Gin Racer Hyundais. Wow, big contact there. Gray and yellow Mini of Clay Williams, the pole sitter in class that dropped back right there at the start. And this car has been coming on strong. He's driven back through the field right now is putting some pressure on Jose Blanco for second place. That last lap, you guys were the fastest TCA cars. Clay Williams on slicks. Now the track's starting to dry out, coming to him a little bit, and he has run down the class leader. Rumbo can't get back over. He's wide, gets in there too deep, gets the big plow, big understeer, and the mini goes through. How about this? Could it be another win for the LAP Motorsports camp and it's left to those two to fight for the TCA class lead. Pole sitter Clayton Williams has it. Newcomer Christian Pericarpi in just his third start. It will be Clayton Williams with his first career win at TC America and a 1-2 for the mini GCW team here at Indianapolis. are so fun to drive you know the brakes are really good they handle good in the wet and the dry they're, they're the best car out here I couldn't be more happy the mini can handle so well even on slick tires and wet conditions and it was evident during the race that that was the right call as we were you know doing three four seconds a lot faster than our competition that was on rain tires at the end <laughs> was that the right call or what <laughs> the car was a rocket ship so uh, awesome. uh, I, don't, I really don't know what to say it's hard I've had my home track so the podium and Almost get the win was was phenomenal, so. The mini race car is straight out of the showroom. I mean, we basically just take the interior out, we put in a roll cage, racing slicks, some suspension changes, that's it. The car actually even runs with its original factory electronics. The minis are amazing. You know, on a damp track, on slick tires, it would still be really good. And today it showed, you know, they were dominant. Finished one, two for the team in our home track at Indy. Everybody wants to win Indy, and we did. We'll do it all over again if that's what it takes. I think I got a good readout yesterday of how this car is in the dry. It feels super fast and hooked up. So uh, today I start P2. Hopefully I can go P1, one step better on the podium. TCA, PJ Gronke with a great start, but he's got the rocket ship of a mini behind him. That's Pericarpi coming up alongside. Pericarpi leads, grabbing that spot from the Texport Toyota. You guys heard that you were uh, fast in DCA cars that last lap, so you got the pace. So we just got to be patient. Off and on there for one of the minis. That's the leader, Pericarpi, and he rejoins right in front of one of the championship contenders, Bacon. Got the best of me, I guess, and I went off the track and lost about two positions, I think. I started the race in third and uh, I fell back to about like six or seven. I had to just work my way back up through the pack little by little as the other car's tires again began to degrade. Mine, you know, I was trying to manage them pretty well and little by little I was able to pinch them off. Play at the last couple of laps just showed them, you know, what a real car does. It all comes down to the wire just like you love to see. How much does he want to defend here and he lets it go? This has been the great scrap all race long, really all season long. Up onto the front straightaway, never a win before yesterday, now back to back for Clayton Williams to close the season. We're celebrating the anniversary of 60 years of the partnership between John Cooper, the Cooper family, and Mini. So this is a very special anniversary year. For us to do it now with a modern Mini, at Indy, we just keep adding to its legacy and its heritage of racing. I'll never forget this. It's been the you know the greatest weekend I've had in my racing career, and I'm more than happy to do it here at Indianapolis and for Mini and Mini Motorworks and 
everyone involved. I'm really thankful. It sets us up to start 2022 in a great, in a great way. It's just a dream come true.